On a white background, one by one, dark blue letters appear, forming the text, The Collective Impact Project Presents. The titles fade. Again, one by one, dark blue lettering appears, forming the text, Making Room for Change. The word change is in a lighter blue. Titles fade. In between two sets of two horizontal lines, one blue, one yellow, the title appears, Inclusion and Accessibility. Title disappears. Head and shoulder shot of Fran. Hello, my name is Fran Odette. Welcome to Making Room for Change. This video explores the broad and diverse identity of disability and the terms that are often associated with it, specifically accessibility and inclusion. Video switches to a white screen. Dark blue lettering appears, forming the text, What do the terms disability and deaf mean to you? Video switches to Sandra, who speaks. The word disability means, um, it means like ability to learn, but in a different way. Video switches to a head and shoulder shot of Noah, who speaks in Inuktitut. I am going to have a team in one no, I Disability means to me an opportunity for us to work together in a better manner. Head and shoulder shot of Janelle, speaking in sign language through an interpreter. Deaf is the appropriate term, and there's a range of uh, hearing loss on a spectrum. You could have a uh, loss of hearing in one ear or the other ear loss of hearing in both ears, the, the range of hearing loss or decibel level loss ranges. So that's how I envision deaf. The screen dissolves to a white background. Dark blue lettering appears, forming the text, what does accessibility and inclusion mean to you? Head and shoulders shot of Skittles. Inclusion means to me, is like to, in, like say to include, like to bring in, like regardless of uh, of gender, ethnicity, like to include people in stuff. Back to Janelle again, speaking through an interpreter. Inclusion is more of uh, an opportunity for individuals to participate in community where there isn't a selection process in order to be included. If you see how I sign it, it is more of a selective way to make it easier to access things and others may be excluded or welcomed at a later time. That is not how we envision the Accessible Canada Act. And it is more of an inclusive society for all. Noah, again speaking first in the Nuktituk. <laughs> Inclusion means a lot, uh, especially being together uh, through education, workforce, or, or being in the public eye. The screen dissolves to a white background. Blue lettering appears, forming the text, How do all Canadians benefit from inclusion? Ben responds. People would benefit from getting to know about disability or having knowledge about disability uh, from an economic standpoint as an organization or a company. If you're inviting individuals with disabilities and making spaces accessible, it means more money. It means that individuals are coming into your space and feeling comfortable uh, with services or with their experience at your organizations. Sandra. So they could learn from us. They could learn from us and we could learn from them and everybody could learn together. Noah. Uh, working together means a lot. If we understand more of inclusion together, then we can move forward in a better manner and educate each other. On top of a white background, blue lettering appears. Credits. Collective Impact Project, Making Room for Change. The word change is a lighter blue. Inclusion and Accessibility. Content Producers, Hosts, and Editors. 
Elliot Dewhurst, Dora Mee Ealing, April Dobbin, Fran Odette, Ingrid Palmer, Doris Rajan, Christopher Sutton, Lori Van Holt, Heather Wacus. Video Interviews Bernard Akuko, Noah Papazzi, Skittles Rosa, Dr. Janelle Roos, Sandra, English Audio Description, Corey Stuvey. ASL LSQ Captioning and French Audio Description by Wavefront Center for Communication Accessibility. The Wavefront logo is present. The Collective Impact Project Steering Committee, Autism Alliance of Canada, CCRW, Council of Canadians with Disabilities, Inclusion Canada, Larch, Realize, Rick Hansen Foundation, Spinal Cord Injury Canada, and Wavefront Center for Communication Accessibility. Video production by Eric Nettle and Doris Rajan with Nettle Media Incorporated. The Government of Canada logo appears with a small Canadian flag over the final A. Funded in part by the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program, Disability. Copyright 2023, Autism Alliance of Canada, Canadian Council on Rehabilitation and Work, Council of Canadians with Disabilities, Inclusion Canada, Larch, Realize, Rick Hansen Foundation, Spinal Cord Injury Canada, Wavefront Centre for Communication Accessibility. All rights reserved. End of video. Fade to black.